this tutorial, we will look at manually deleting linked clones or stale virtual desktop entries from the View Composer database in VMware View Manager and Horizon View. The first thing we need to do is to connect to the View Atom database. For more information on this, see KB Article 2012377. We then need to locate the VMs for removal. To do this, we must right click the Connection View Atom database and click New and Query. Then, we're going to provide a query name such as VM Search. Under Root of Search, we click Browse and select the server's organizational unit. Click OK. In the query string, paste the following search string. Note that in this string, virtual machine name is the name of your own VM. Once we've done this, we click OK to create the query. Click the query in the left pane. The VMs that match the search are displayed in the right pane. Check the properties of the items returned and delete the PAE VM objects. Now we will have a look at removing the linked clone references from the View Composer database, Active Directory, and vCenter server. To remove these items, we use the command svi-config remove svi clone. svi-config is located on vCenter server hosting View Composer at this location for 32 bit servers and here for 64 bit servers. Before removing the linked clone data, make sure that the View Composer service is running. On the View Composer machine, run the SVI config remove SVI clone command, which we can see here. In this command, we replace VM name with the name of the virtual machine to remove. The local admin user is the name of the user with local admin privileges, usually administrator. The local admin password is the password used to connect to the View Composer server. The View Composer server URL is the URL for the View Composer server. We can see the default value here. If we need to remove a large number of VMs, we can create a text file with each of the VM's names and a batch file to execute the SVI config command. Firstly, we copy the VM names into a text file called desktops.txt, which will be saved to the same directory in which SVI config is located. Then, we need to copy this line into a new text document where username is the name of the administrative user and password is the password of the administrator. We must then save the text file as remove desktops.bat. Execute remove desktops.bat. If the .vmx file of the linked clone is damaged or missing, vCenter server cannot delete the VM. In this case, we must right click the VM in vCenter server and click remove from inventory. After running the SVI config command and verifying that the virtual machine is deleted from vCenter server, click the virtual machine in the View Administration console and click Remove. This concludes our look at manually deleting linked clones or stale virtual desktop entries from the View Composer database in VMware View Manager and Horizon View. For more tutorials, subscribe to the VMware KB YouTube channel and our blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.